Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Tracing your family history can be an exciting adventure, but for many of us, it ends right on the computer. However, our next guest took his search to an entirely different continent, finding his family lineage all the way back in West Africa. Here to tell us about the journey and more, please welcome our friend Rondell Holder. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm good. How are you, gorgeous and gold? Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. So let's talk about tracing your history yes. to West Africa. What was that experience like for you? It was, it's an ongoing journey, I'll yes. say that. So it has been transformative, mm -hmm. game changing. I mean, I, I think every step of the journey, I feel like a, a better sense of self right. um, as I walk through my day to day. Yeah, talk about that journey. What's that, that sense of self, self that you continue to get along this journey? And tell, tell us about some of those reflections that you've had. Absolutely, well, you know, black people in America, we're African American, but yes. a lot of us don't understand that African people aren't fully connected to that. So mm -hmm. taking these trips to these countries where my ancestors are from and, you know, in, on my most recent trip to Ghana, getting an, an official Ghanaian name, yeah. Barima Akwesi Chidetrie. Say, say it again, say it again. Barima Akwesi Chidetrie yes. is my new Ghanaian name. Yes. So, you know, all those things help you to fully understand, like, who our ancestors were, what power we come from, because, you know, black history doesn't start with slavery. That's it what doesn't. we're taught in school, of but course. we have so much more before that. Yeah. Well, I did do uh, my DNA, and I think I mentioned to the, you uh, the last time you were here that I am West African. Uh, Guinea-Bissau is where my people are okay. from, so I need to go and take a trip. So what, what, what's, I don't know what's holding me back. Let's do it. But, like, you <laughs> are encouraging me to do that, yes. and you just mentioned that you, you went to Ghana. For people that want to go there, what is that experience like? What will they see? Look at this. When you got your name, tell us about Listen, that experience. Official Kente cloth. Kente is only made in Ghana, so I got to see how it was made and interesting. Look at me. Doing yes. a little two-step here. Yes. A little drumming ceremony. Um, it's just amazing. <laughs> Everything from the beaches to the slave castles to seeing that experience walking the path, the literal path of my ancestors. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it gives me chills just thinking about it. Yes. What does that mean? The, the, the year of return for Ghana was mentioned in 2019. Yes. What exactly did that mean? The year of return is 400 years since uh, the slaves from Africa were brought to Jamestown, Virginia. So mm -hmm. 400 years since slavery started, basically. Oh and they're flipping it, because that should be a sad thing. It shouldn't be something to celebrate, but like, why not? Let's celebrate how far we've come. Right, and then to welcome people back home. Absolutely. I heard when you land in Africa, they say welcome home oh, it's definitely to African-American people. What is that feeling like for you when you, when you, when you land and you, you're like, wow, I am home? It's beautiful. In Ghana specifically, they say Akwaba, which basically means you are welcome. Mm -hmm. You are welcome home. So. I think, you know, for us, taking that trip back is, is just, I encourage it for everyone. Obviously, um, I love travel in general, but travel to Africa for a black person in America is something very special. So what should people, like if, for me, because I've never been, uh, Selena's actually in South Africa now. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. So what is the experience like for first timers? I think for first timers, you should just be open-minded and just be prepared to embrace something very different. Mm -hmm. um, and I think for me, it's being open-minded to a new connection. Um, it, it already feels like a connection. When you land, you literally feel like, oh, I've been here before. Like, you literally feel that, but just be open to it and seeing where, where that journey takes you. Yeah, what were some of your, your favorite experiences? Oh man, like so many. Like if you many. had to pinpoint. So many. I think the naming ceremony when, when I was in the Kente cloth, meeting the local chiefs, getting my name, um, and then they had a local priest pray to my ancestors to let them know that I made it back home. It's the, the uh, ceremony of the return. Yeah. Yeah, that was just, it was beautiful. You know, for people who feel like they can't do it because, you know, automatically think, well, how much does that cost? Yeah. Where am I going to stay? What am I going to do when I'm there? What are the excursions like? Yeah. Talk, walk us through that and how you made this thing a reality for yourself and how we can. Yeah, so I'm, I call myself like a travel architect to a certain degree. Like, I love doing the research and digging. I actually launched an extension of my business called Global Royalty, um, where I plan Africa trips ah. for people because I know it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming because we overthink what it is that, you know, we're supposed to do there. Are we supposed to completely have a missionary trip or can we just enjoy it as a vacation? So I customize the experience based on what people are looking for. Yeah. I can help you identify what region to go to, what countries and what your experience can be. So, so as far as being welcomed by our people, I mean, I know you say they, they greet you and then you got all this, but sometimes people put out there that, Africans don't like African Americans, and then it's that whole type of. You know, I've I've never had that experience. Okay. I've been Ghana made my tenth country in Africa. I've literally never had the experience of not feeling welcome. Okay. And everyone has just been like, "Thank you so much for making a trip home 
for sharing the stories on social media and the documentary series that I'm doing on YouTube because they, they're so happy that I'm showing the true experience yes, of traveling to and Africa. and not what someone get, given us as a narrative. Exactly. Yes. And, and to be honest, my lens on the trip is going to be different from someone of another race you know, taking a trip to Africa. So they're just so thankful for me to come and immerse myself in the culture because and Because ours it. is spiritual. Our, our return is spiritual Absolutely. because we never saw that. Absolutely. It was stolen from us. Stolen, literally yes, stolen. Literally and and stolen. walking those steps, you get to see it. Yeah. You know, it's it's heartbreaking, but it's also empowering at mm -hmm. the same time. What's next for you? Ooh, I'm, I'm going to continue my heritage journey. I'm going to the Congo, mm -hmm. um, also Nigeria. So all that's going to be uh, at the head of 2020. Well, you better, I need you to plan me a trip. Listen, I, know your, a I know your PR person very well. <laughs> She's my sober, Monique, and I need her to plan me a trip, and I need to be first we in are, line. We are going to make it happen. All right. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> we definitely appreciate your time. I'm always excited when you come down. So make sure you keep up with Rondell's uh, travel moments. Follow him on the gram at King Ron the Don. Yeah.